Well, hello there, YouTube. How you doing? Well, you just had the short version. The Garden of Eden was a different way of living. And that included in amongst the trees. In the trees, off the ground. Like, mostly. <laughs> this does kind of, if you think, like the beginning of Adam and Eve's life was in the trees. It's kind of synergy, is that the right word, with the way that God's creations have evolved. So God was creating animals and God's own creations was evolving because God was obviously learning something from his her creations. And that is evolution if you like. And in, at the point when God was happy that he'd made this being that could procreate itself and each being could inhabit one of us eternal souls so the beginning of Adam and Eve's life was above ground I mean that's where all the food is that um, Adam and Eve would have been eating <laughs> Did I wash the soap out properly? <laughs> and um, I thought that was quite an amazing revelation for me. And it came just at a time when I was kind of, I mean I've been, so I haven't made a video for a long time. And I had this bad leg and things and and then I got my face fucked up, and then I got pneumonia, and <laughs> something was trying to tell me something, right? But, you know, it wasn't. It was like, a, you know, it was testing time. So I questioned everything. I physically did things, you know, just, I did everything I could in a sense. Like, but I'm back to drinking rainwater after I've cleaned out my water butts. And because I found drinking tap water so disgusting, plus, I mean, through a filter it was okay, plus, I really did feel like it was stopping me from doing my sort of level of meditation. So I need the rainwater. I can't afford bottled water. There's, I'm. Principally, I wouldn't buy bottled water, you know, living in my, this country, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, coming at a time, so I made another revelation, a bit like, you know, Adam is Yahweh, and, you know, Jesus is the actual name of God. And, like that, we have, like, we call God, God. That, that is a name we have created for what we see to be the creator. But our creator obviously had a name. Well, not obviously had a name. But if a being has a name at that level, which, unless you think God is the only thing existing out there, and then I'd say you're confusing God with source. Our creator and source are different things. This thing is bigger. It's bigger, right? We're eternal beings. We have got a lot of living to do. <laughs> There's going to be levels that we just cannot comprehend at this point because we are babies in our existence. So, blom blom blom. God has a name, it's Jesus. That was the name of God before we existed. There's power in that name. So these are things that I've said, that I've come up with. And, you know, 
no one else that I know of has kind of taken them on and believed them. Although, and I've questioned everything about it. I've, I've tried to almost think, okay, it's not true. Now where does my understanding sit? And straight away, things firing out of me that I can't deny. You know, both about reality, about what I've felt, about things that are written in scripture. So, I come back to believing. And that's the thing about truth. The truth keeps going. So here I've brought out another one. And, you know, I think it's going to take some time <laughs> for other people to believe this. Um, you know, seven years, 30 years, three years, but it probably is not going to happen all at the same time, I wouldn't have thought. But, you know, it will happen. And there might not be another person on this planet apart from me who believes it at the moment. Um, I'll do an example. My prayer that I do with my son, for a few months now, we've been beginning the prayer, and I've changed it quite a lot, but we've been beginning the prayer, Thank you, Jesus. And gradually and gradually, I noticed that he wasn't really putting much enthusiasm into saying the prayer. And uh, so today I sort of questioned him and I said, you know, would you, would you rather say, not say Jesus, you know, say thank you God? And he said, yes. Well, the conversation didn't go quite like that. But anyway, he said, like, you know, it's, it's God, isn't it? That's the name. It's God. And then I explained to him, well, that's the name we've been on, what I just said earlier to you. So, we, for his benefit, you know, I want him to be comfortable, we said instead, thank you, God. And he said the prayer much more clearly, meaning, meaning. So, you know, I won't, so my example there is that, you know, my own son, deep down, you know, and I've spoke to him a lot, he's, he doesn't, you know, just believe me and stuff, he, you know, and I, I, I wouldn't want him to fake it at all. So, it, it, it's weird. But I, why take, what gives me, partly gives me, um, strength is that there was a time in my life before when I came up with stuff and I walked away from it thinking nah, you know it's wrong but that proved right and you know examples well if you want to look at my video the blue book there's a lot of writings I did when I was about 19 and I was told that, you know, it's all nonsense by anyone who read them at the time. <laughs> but if you read them now, it, it, you know, it is stuff. So I'm not going to list things that I said. If you want to know, it's called The Blue Book. And it's one of my videos I did a few years ago. Alright. That's the handy thing with YouTube. Well, handy. Anyway. Um... So, that's the short version, and um, long version coming next, okay bye.